1939, a young farmer and businessman became the first African in Kenya to secure a liquor license. He opened a little bar in Karatina with just 12 seats. Though his bar was small, it was Karaoke Kirudi's little kingdom, and he ruled over it strictly. Patrons were not allowed in unless they obeyed the strict rules that Karaoke had laid down. Nobody could have more than three drinks or a litre or carry on in a drunken or disorderly manner. The pulsing beat draws one into the bar. This the steady heartbeat of an establishment that has drawn patrons in for well over 70 years. KK Waze opened its doors to the public in 1939 when a humble farmer and businessman, Karaoke Kirudi, became the first African to secure a liquor license. He decided to open a bar in Karatina. After years under colonial administration that frowned upon Africans drinking alcohol, here at last was a place where the Africans could relax after a long day at work. It was in a little bar, a special, hmm? special bar. Ukuwa na makelele, ukuwa na sida yote. Sada diyo watu walikuwa, kama unataka ukazi tane, diyo tulikuwa tunapedea kukuja hapa. KK Waze occupied two rooms and had just four chairs and 12 seats, all donated by East African Breweries Limited. No more seats could be added and only special patrons were served standing at the bar. It was difficult to gain entry into this bar and getting in was only half the battle. Once inside, one had to follow the rules Karaoke had laid down and though he had opened the bar while in his 20s, Karaoke was strict. In the beginning, the bar opened at noon and was closed at 9 every evening, 7 days a week. He used to operate for about 9 hours, starting from uh, 12, midday. The bar used to be shut in the morning, but if you have a meeting with someone, he could allow you but not serve you. KK ran the bar alone. But in 1979, he hired Wangeshi as his assistant, then just 19 years old. Together, they enforced the KK rules. The first rule, patrons had to buy their first drinks themselves. Utakubaliwa kuingia, mladi tuwe ukona, pesa yako ya kujisimamia. Lakini siya tikukuja kuoba oba, mse haku wanataka mutu wala kuja hapa, tininunie chupa moja, ninunie soda, ninini, haku wanataka hiyo mapo. And there were more rules. One could not read a newspaper at KK's or litter. Unaccompanied females were also not welcome. If they started to drink before one in the afternoon, patrons would have to take a break for lunch since karaoke reasoned that too much drink without food was unhealthy. Patrons could only buy a maximum of three beers and no more bottles of beer would be served after eight. Mzee hakuwa na uza pombe auzia mtu ati alewe dia apate pesa. Mzee alikuwa na uzia mtu pombe ajifurahiche. 8.30 could prepare now to wind up. So that's the time you used to serve that cocktail that used to mix up the monatina, a bit of honey and a bit of three balls. Persons who misbehaved would find the door close to them much earlier. Kanzo la mwonja, alipatio discipline hapa baya sana. Hey, na alikuwa mea, hey, wakaratina. Hey. Despite the owner's strict rules, perhaps because of them, KK Waze became popular as the country's political landscape changed, counting several notable personalities among its patrons. Former President Mwai Kibaki was one of the regular faces here, such very important persons would be served in the VIP room at the back. Uyu mzee kibaki, siniri muusi ya pobe. Wakati alikuwa nakunywa white cup. Alikuwa lafiki ya mzee sana. The golden age of KK rule ended in 2007 when KK died, leaving the bar to his grandson, Kirudi Karioki. The young Kirudi was careful to leave things as they were, creating a place for his grandfather's peers, 
to assemble and bask in the memories while served by the faithful Wangeshi, now marking over 30 years at the bar. But inevitably, aspects of change that washed over the new country would sweep through KK's too. In the years since, pubs have sprung up on every corner in Karatina town, and drinking has become a favorite pastime among the youth, a problem that the law is now attempting to address with laws dubbed the Mutudo rules. Yet the older folk still prefer KKs, and 74 years after its doors opened to the African community under colonial rule, the music at KK plays on in the bar that has stood for over 70 years and may well stand for 70 more. 50 years after independence, Kenya is still working to regulate alcohol consumption. While the Mutudo laws apply here as they do everywhere else, patrons of KK Waze Hukumbuka must also obey the KK Code of Conduct, meant to ensure that no patron overindulges. Wilkis Tanyabwa, KTN, for the 50-year series in Kartina.